Hi, I'm uh, Mark Lund, author of The Effective Investor, and today I want to talk about uh, the beneficiary tax traps 401ks. And this could be a major tax problem for your beneficiaries if they don't take the necessary step upon your death. Now, many don't because of inattention, a lack of knowledge or confidence, or, or even relying on the advice of family and friends. Now, this trap most often referred to as the five-year rule. Ed Slot explains it like this. <clears throat> this this beneficiary tra tax trap like this. Uh, these 401k plans, they don't want to get involved in the administrative nightmare of keeping track of the beneficiaries of ex-deceased employees for 30 or 40 years as they take required distributions. So instead, the 401k plans simply pay out the beneficiary in one year or five years at best. That means uh, the beneficiary could be pushed into a higher tax bracket because your 401k will be counted as a distribution to them and they will pay tax on the entire amount in one year or over five years. And this lifelong savings you've worked so hard to accumulate could be gone in five years. This problem occurs in most 401k plans. The plan provider could stretch the distributions if they wanted to, however most choose not to because they don't want to deal with it. So the solution to this problem is the creation of a stretch IRA. The long-term benefit of an IRA rollover is the ability to keep the money growing tax deferred for your beneficiaries for many, many years. The beneficiary of an IRA can stretch distributions on the inherited IRA over his or her life expectancy. They are not forced to take all of the money out within five years like they could with the 401k. So to help me uh, make my point, answer this question. Would you rather your retirement account to potentially last 50 years or 5 years for your beneficiaries? It's only possible to stretch distributions with an IRA rollover. If the funds stay in the 401k plan, the money the beneficiaries receives could be cashed out and even taxed over a 5 year period. Now there may be an alternative, however, if you're absolutely in love with your 401k. I say maybe because the beneficiaries will have one year to act upon your death. Under the Pension Protection Act of 2008, beginning January 1st of 2010, any beneficiary can transfer the 401k balance to a properly titled inherited IRA. They can then stretch their distributions from the IRA over the course of their life. So in order to do a stretch IRA for children or grandchildren, you have to roll the 401k funds over to an IRA while you're still living. This way your beneficiaries never have to deal with the company plan and the company bureaucracy, which could cause problems with the, with the transfer. This also prevents the beneficiaries who suffer from an inattention, inattention, a lack of knowledge, or relying on bad advice from uh, family and friends from making any bad uh, mistakes here. So once the funds in the IRA, or once the funds are in the IRA, all, all you have to do to stretch the IRA is to make sure that the children are named as beneficiaries on the IRA beneficiary form. Uh, so that's it for today. Next time we're going to talk about how to avoid a big mistake when you transfer your 401k to your IRA that could cost you up to 20% in taxes. Well, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.